very much to uh, Rick for hosting this. It's, uh, it feels really important. And I, I'm not going to speak for very long because I think at this conference it's really important for us to have discussion and time for that. So I'm going to be quite brief. Um, in thinking about the media, I think we should remember and recognise that we wouldn't be in this Brexit fiasco if it wasn't for 30 years of racist incitement by the tabloid press in England and Britain. Mm. That is a fact, that is a reality that is documented. <laughs> and this week, the Times published a cartoon which you might have seen of the Corbyn ship with Captain Corbyn, ship ahoy, with a, a ship of immigrants. It's a disgusting image that is beyond the pale in satire or cartoon work in the British media, and it tells us something about where we are. The political and the media elite is one. When we start talking about the media, we need to recognise that fact. They are not separable. In Scotland, we have a one-dimensional critique of our media. We talk about it being unionist, and we constantly go on about the bias in the BBC and in the media and it being unionist. Of course it is unionist, that it is role and its purpose, but it's also structurally misogynist and corporate. It represents corporate interests, and we need to go beyond this one-dimensional analysis of our media. But more than that, it's infantilist. It treats us as children. This week, I think the third chair of the child sex abuse uh, inquiry uh, uh, had to stand down. And Radio Scotland ran a lengthy feature on that day about Sooty and Sweep. This was a supposed news, news programme for adults. This is journalism. This is a disgrace. This cannot be allowed to continue. This is not a news programme. This is supposed to be our public broadcaster, and it's a disgrace. This offers several challenges for us in the alternative media who need to go on and develop and mature. I'd say that there are three challenges. One, we need consolidation. We need to be more powerful and we need to be more united. Secondly, we need more collaboration. And I think there's some exciting opportunities um, in the coming weeks and months that we can see. We're really proud to be collaborating with Phantom Power, who are um, producing a series of films called Perspective, which will be a, a new bar for quality alternative film media. But thirdly and importantly, and I think this is where Common Space and others have led the way, we need to challenge and critique power in Scotland, not just critique and challenge Westminster as an entity. Angela mentioned uh, new developments in England, and uh, we're really pleased to be speaking next week at uh, the Hidden Civil War project in Newcastle, which is launching... Um, a, a project called The Eclipse, which is an alternative to, to the sun. And its stated aim <laughs> is to take out the sun in the north of England. And I think that level of ambition needs to be shown here. I think in the wake of Hillsborough and Orgreave, the role of the sun has been revealed and there's an opportunity for it to be removed as a, a source of racial hatred and incitement uh, in our society. <clears throat> I think we need to realise we are not going to re-inhabit the press. It's not reformable, it's not redeemable, we're watching it collapse, and the new forms and the new alternative media is emerging and will go stronger with your support. But the idea that we're going to reform it or regulate it has been proven to be a failure. Um, the, the death of the news of the world has just been uh, replaced by hatred in other forms. So I believe not in reforming the fourth estate, but in, in, in reinventing the fifth estate in which we are all co-creators, we are all content creators. This is a peer-to-peer -peer medium in which you are going to write the news and you are going to contribute to the media. This is a completely different model from top-down, here is the news. This is us sharing our visions and our stories of the world. 
This is about a shift from being passive British subjects to being active Scottish citizens. That's one I want to go with you on. Thank you very much.